So what are you willing to do in order to increase the belief others have in themselves as well as for yourself to help out in your career and help navigate the, the ebbs and flows of a career? Julie's book, Promotions Are So Yesterday, we've been talking about it, we've been studying it. It's one thing to read something, it's another thing to apply it. This dimension, we're talking about career dimensions, that's what Julie's all about, these career dimensions, this dimension's about confidence. Imagine what it would look like if you walked around trying to be a confidence whisperer, right? Confidence whisperer, where you're, where you're helping people like understand maybe, maybe past events and how they've triggered something in a current situation or what's something that has worked out well in the past and that you could be doing now and just whispering that vote of confidence in them. Another face, these are the four faces of championing confidence that she talks about is being a truth teller making a commitment to be 100% honest in support of development. So it's not lying, it's not trying to cover something up, it's focusing on what are those areas that, that, that are gonna boost your confidence that you can be working on, that you can be sharpening the saw to speak, right? We talk about this all the time in these messages that raise your hand if you're perfect, I'm not, right? So starting with that examination in the mirror, what do I need to be more honest about myself? And then how can I be more honest with my team members in support of their development, right? If you're not perfect, expecting perfection from your team members is doing both of you a disservice because now you're kind of masquerading in a different mask and we have that different disguise. So focusing on what can help, what, what, what are the barriers to our own success and what are the barriers that are in the way and, and, and that are stopping you? Love this one, the practice partner. So acting as a guide, right? Being a sounding board, role playing, acting in a way that supports someone's development and actually guiding and walking with them through their journey. And lastly, the cheerleader. You gotta be your biggest fan. You hear it all the time, you see it posted all the time. You gotta be your biggest fan. And taking it a step farther, how can you be a big fan of someone on your team, of someone else's development? Maybe it's somebody you're mentoring, maybe it's somebody you're coaching, maybe it's your peer uh, development partner and you're working together on something. But, but being a champion of that confidence boost and being part of that change and part of that transformation requires you to level yourself up in a way of believing in yourself and believing your abilities, believing in that other person so that they can feel the same way about themselves and watch the environment. So if confidence is either a challenge to you right now or something that really matters to you. So you wanna be doing work that boosts your confidence. You wanna be able to lean into past experiences to help someone else out as they're navigating through it. Your own investment in your time, in your energy, in championing your own confidence and being that guide for someone else will do amazing wonders for those around you and yourself. So I look forward to you putting it into practice. Again, promotions are so yesterday. It's Julie's book, it's phenomenal, it's fantastic, go get it. Can't speak enough about it. I wish you the best and as always, you matter. I appreciate you. Go get them.